Tops, hold up, though. This big Snoop Dogg. Here's a message for the people that need to know. I'm a nonviolent person. When I said what I said, I spoke for the people who felt like Gail was very disrespectful towards Kobe Bryant and his family. Now, with that being said, what I look like wants some harm to come to a 70-year-old woman. I was raised way better than that. I didn't want no harm to come to her and didn't threaten her. All I did was said, check it out. You out of pocket for what you're doing and we watching you. Have a little bit more respect for Vanessa, her babies, and Kobe Bryant's legacy. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to do what I got to keep doing. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. We're very nonviolent. We just want to say that first and foremost. We speak from the heart. Some of you who have no heart don't understand that. But anyway, carry on and enjoy your day. See, I knew, I knew when when Snoop made that apology to Gail King that I was reading his body language, his facial expressions, his eyes correctly. In the last video, I said somebody got to Snoop and made him apologize. Now I'm running a little late on this story. And I'm surprised somebody else didn't pull my coattail and say, hey, man, look, this is who made him apologize. Well, I found it on my own. And I was right. So according to Atlanta Black Star, right? So they said that a lot of people have commented on Snoop blasting Gail King after she brought up the Kobe whole, the questions that Gail asked in that interview with Leslie. And people thought that the timing was wrong. It was very insensitive, considering the fact that Kobe had just died and had not even been buried yet. And his wife was dealing with or is dealing with losing her husband and her child at the same time. And here you are, you know, and Snoop was like, you didn't ask Harvey Weinstein or none of them dumbass questions. But he said more than that. So I'm over here. Paying attention to Atlanta Black Star. Susan Rice. Susan Rice ripped Snoop Dogg for posting an angry message at Gail King after King brought up the whole question about Kobe's legacy in that interview. Snoop, along with others, said that Gail King's questioning was extremely inappropriate and that the and the veteran the veteran journalist was slammed online. Now, I'm willing to bet the way how Susan Rice swooped in to save Gail King after Oprah went on that show and said, she's not doing well, she's not doing well, she's scared, she's getting death threats, she's traveling with security. Boom. Here comes a very powerful person by the way and if y'all hold if you guys don't know who susan rice is then google her okay you know you somebody big when i say google her because google is going to tell you a whole lot about susan rice at ambassador rice slash twitter she said to snoop this is despicable gail king is one of the most principled, fair, and tough journalists alive. Snoop, back the beep, 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 beep off. You come for at Gail King. You come against an army. You will lose, and it won't be pretty. Now, let's say this. Ain't nobody got anything to say to her. When Snoop said something about Gail King questioning Kobe's legacy in an inappropriate manner or wrong timing, a whole lot of people had something to say agreeing with Snoop. But now I'm finding out there were people that had something to say disagreeing with Snoop. I don't see anyone stepping up to the front to disagree with what Susan Rice said by telling him to back the off. Two wrongs don't make a right. 
That's what Snoop said. So Susan Rice being the ambassador diplomat that she is, she could have handled this in another manner as well. But let me tell you something. Google boule, black boule, and start there. Susan Rice probably does not see Snoop as worthy of her contact. I will reach out to Snoop because he's a brother. I understand that he is a little flustered at the moment, caught up in his emotions. So I will reach out to Snoop privately and I will try to get Gail as well. And I'll, I'll bring them together and we'll do some peaceful, some fun loving stuff and we'll talk about this. And then we can bring it to the forefront if they want to. And Snoop could go ahead and make a public apology. So on and so forth. No. I'm willing to bet that Susan Rice looks at Snoop's type, and I said Snoop's type because she's not attracted to black men. Um, neither is she attracted to that type. Don't be a rapper. Definitely don't be gangster or portraying anything gangster or associated with anything gangster. You better not speak Ebonics and this type of stuff. You are not in her league, okay? So... She's not going to look at Snoop as a brother. She looked at him more like, send this message to this. You know the word already. You better make an apology, and you better make it public. You disrespected her in public, you're going to apologize in public. End of story. You come against her, you come against an army. I didn't know that Gail King had an army. We know now, you come against her, you come against the army, you will lose, and it won't be pretty. Hmm, warning, 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 fair enough, that's the warning that Snoop got, that's not my message, that's not my words, people, those are the words of Susan Rice to Snoop Dogg, so while there were people who sided with Rice, Others said that they didn't care for her message at there were some who tweeted that Snoop was being scared of Rice threat and that's actually laughable. I don't think it's laughable. I think these people are people that are in a position to make people disappear or to systematically break you all the way down and Snoop knows that so those on the outside can laugh. But he knows why he didn't laugh. So Snoop tried to play it off, right? And the first video he released after that was the one where you see him saying, what do I look like um, wanting something to happen to a 70-year-old woman? Mind you, Gail is not 70. She's 65. But Snoop's trying to put humor to it, right? Or he's saying she almost 70. So what would I look like wanting something to happen to a 70-year-old? And then he went on to say, I'm nonviolent. For those who need to know, I am nonviolent. Right. Somebody tapped him and said, listen, Negro, that was not enough. We need you to make a public apology directly to Gail King. You disrespected her in public and you're going to apologize in public. End of story. And boom, the next day came his Instagram apology. Gail King, I publicly tore you down by coming at you in a derogatory manner based off of emotions and me being angry at questions that you asked, um, overreacted. I should have handled it way different than that. Uh, I was raised way better than that. So I would like to apologize to you publicly. Someone said, did you just actually threaten Snoop Dogg? Our man was talking about exposure. Learn to read the lines, in between the lines, journalists or whatever the hell you are. What do you mean with an army? Who exactly are in that army? Weinstein and his sick friends that control the media? That's what someone wrote. Someone else says, oh, no, she didn't. This is the type that stands in front of the mirror and acts as if they're all tough in the imaginary fight. And then they sneak out the back door when it's actually time to rumble. Well, listen, I don't think Miss, Miss Rice here needs uh, to f throw one blow. What I'm trying to figure out is 
What's fair about Gail asking Lisa about Kobe's 2003 case while his wife, Vanessa, is preparing to bury half her family, tweeted Smiley. Name calling? I don't agree with it, but I feel Snoop's pain like most of us. I'm with Snoop. One day later, Snoop Dogg uploaded an Instagram video and said that he didn't want any harm to come to King despite what people may think. Here's a message to the people who need to know is what Snoop said. I'm a nonviolent person. When I said what I said, I spoke for the people who felt like Gail was very disrespectful toward Kobe Bryant and his family. Now, with that being said, what I look like wanting some harm to come to a 70 year old woman, he said, <laughs> she's actually 65. I was raised better than that. And all that jibber jabber talk, right? After Snoop posted this message, there were some who said that he didn't need to explain to others, but there were others that said that he actually did. I thought it was very honest and straightforward from the heart. They always using them to bash our black men in a way to make them look bad, another person said. While another Instagram user said, you can justifiably love Kobe, Kobe dislike Gail's approach without issuing obvious threats and calling this queen out of her name. For me personally, none cipher. I know you are better than that. And he went ahead and made his apologies. Now, what I want you to do is pay attention to the strength within the message from the all-powerful Rice, okay? Because she is not just anybody, anybody. Susan Rice, you're talking about Susan Rice, a very powerful woman, right? You're talking about Susan Rice. Google Susan Rice. That's all I'm going to say. I'll leave that right there. Now I know who made Snoop make that apology? Anyways, end story is, Gail says she has accepted the apology and let it be that. And they're going to leave it right where it's at. Leave your comments in the comment section below. It's BrainFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.